Ashley, 47, 20, 74. Honestly, there are way too many bot shills on YouTube that don't voice problems or talk down to consumers because they're buddy-buddy with AAA devs or indie devs. For every issue, there's a counter-argument, then apathetic response. You say DLC is an issue, people said it's only an add-on and not harmful, only to have games that are two-thirds DLC. Then it was season passes. Oh, it's just a $10 fee at the start. No big deal. Now games have specific DLC and story content hidden behind season passes. Then it was microtransactions. Oh, well, they're here for, uh, they're here for casuals who need a boost for gameplay. It's not hurting hardcore players like you, only to have games so microtransaction uh, heavy and grind you need to buy it to even have a chance. Now it's loot boxes, and while people now are against it, I see it rolling over in the company's favor. If not, they'll go harder on all the above. Modern day gaming to me has lost um, its charm, and while nostalgia is a powerful drug at times, there is no ignorance to things like using a disc or uh, can't without an installation or patches. If it's messed, uh, if it's messed up, it's forever. Today's gaming spear is filled with shills on YouTube, Twitch, who want to make a quick buck, and struggling devs who think it's our fault for getting all unsecure um, job like a game development. Maybe it has to do with the social media machine of recent years, but I will not stand for excuses and blaming consumers for everything and then being told deal with it or play older titles jokes on them i get to save money and play a game i know will work laugh out loud uh, all in all this is why i've sold my ps4 i'm not dealing with these cucked men who have no spine and can't own up to the disaster that is modern gaming great vid rick you know what it was terrible ashley hmm. i forget you know, you said it was a great vid, vid, but I make so many, I forget which one this was. You know, I upload so much, I trip over it. You know, if it was Alpha Omega Sin and you was replying to it or whatever, I'd be like, oh, yeah, yeah, that one I did a year ago. Or, you know, <laughs> it would be easy, right? So my apologies for not, you know, remembering which one this is. Yeah, you, you, I think you got a good point there. Uh, they're going to try to get their money. They're going to try to get their money. If it's not one thing, it'll be another thing. Let's say they ban microtransactions. Who's not to say they'll just double down on stuff like DLC? You know, they're going to meet their margins. They're going to make their money. So uh, as we have these advances in graphics, which let's be honest here, Ashley, the only advances really that have came to consoles or just gaming in general last generations have just been in graphics. So many other things have been a step back. You know, right now, a lot of games are online only. That's a step back. You have uh, these giant download patches when you didn't used to. That's a step back. It's like we sacrifice so much just to get better graphics. That's why I fondly look back on the 360p uh, S3 era, as I think it's that was the best era in gaming, I believe. You know, for multiple reasons. Because, you know, number one, you had game ownership. Outside of some games, maybe, where you had to, you know, install, you know, a couple different things. I think GTA V on the 360, you had to do some installing there or whatnot. And the online components. You know, you in the future, you look at a 360, you look at a PS3, or the Nintendo equivalent console. You look at those consoles made in that time, and they will stand the test of time. <laughs> Except for the 360. Oh, man, I've had bad issues with 360s.